Hello and welcome to this edition of Hack Naked TV, filmed July 17th, 2015. I'm your host, Bo Bullock, and today we're going to talk about a new tool that was released by the NSA. We're going to talk a little bit about ransomware, and I'm also going to talk about a device that you can build that will allow you to access a Wi-Fi access point from miles away. As always, Hack Naked TV is brought to you by Black Hills Information Security. If you're in the need of a penetration test, vulnerability assessment, or any other type of security assessment for that matter, contact Black Hills InfoSec by sending an email or consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com. And by Cybery.it, get the latest hacking and security training for free from www.cybery.it. And for our Hack Naked listeners, we have a special referral link. It's just hacknaked.tv slash Cybery. Okay, so the NSA released a tool called SIMP. Um, or the Systems Integrity Management Platform. The goal of SEMP is to help keep network systems compliant with security standards and best practices. Currently, it's supported for uh, Red Hat Enterprise and CentOS, but hey, it's out on GitHub, it's an open source project, and the NSA released it, so check it out. Proxy Gambit. Um, so, making its rounds on the internet uh, over the last few weeks was the Proxy Ham, which was uh, scheduled to be a talk at DEF CON this year, um, and due to unknown circumstances, that talk has mysteriously vanished. Um, and essentially, the, the talk was going to be about a device called the Proxy Ham that uh, essentially would allow somebody to access a Wi Fi access point from miles away, um, you know, making it more private essentially um, because you know, you're not locked down to physical location of being within you know, a, a very small area of the actual Wi Fi access point itself. Um, so since that, that talk was canceled, uh, there's been other individuals that said, hey, I'm, I'm going to build one of these and I'm going to put the specs out on the internet so other people can build one. Um, so somebody that did that is uh, Sammy and he actually provided the details and actually built a, a better uh, proxy ham called the Proxy Gambit. Um, this particular device uh, says that uh, you can actually access the Wi-Fi device from over six miles away, uh, you know, provided you have line of sight. Um, and it also implemented a reverse GSM tunnel. So essentially it talks out to the internet and uh, you can essentially just use the device as a straight up proxy from anywhere on the internet, um, which is very cool. And if you want to build one of these, he has the full specs at uh, the, the link I provided below, which is just uh, tinyurl.com slash hntv dash proxy dash gambit. Um, I believe it was less than 240 bucks to get all the parts needed for it. Um, but very, very cool project. TeslaCrypt 2.0. So TeslaCrypt is a, uh, a piece of ransomware. If you're not familiar with ransomware, it's a uh, family of malware that essentially holds your computer hostage by encrypting all of your files. It's a really nasty piece of malware, um, and essentially the, the ransomware requests payment, usually in Bitcoin, um, and you know upon, upon being paid, they decrypt all your files. Uh, so... Uh, Kaspersky did an analysis of this latest Tesla Crypt 2.0 and said that basically, uh, you know, the interface looks just like CryptoWall, like they, they identically copied it, um, but the actual encryption that's being used on files as well as the process for decryption is a lot different. Um, so they've improved the encryption a lot more, so making it, making it a lot harder to actually decrypt any of the files. Previous versions of, of uh, Tesla Crypt um, in, included a, a file on the actual system that could be used to decrypt um, all your files um, without actually making payment. Uh, but this newer version does not. Uh, so, you know, what is the recommendation? Make backups. Make backups of your backups. You know, have, have just every, everything you want to actually keep backed up. Um, because if you get this piece of ransomware, you're either, uh, you know, out of luck and uh, you're going to lose all your files, or you're going to end up making a payment to um, some really horrible person. Um, so yeah, just the the rule of thumb is make backups. Uh, hacking team Android app. So so more news from the hacking team breach, and I thought this one was really actually very very interesting. Is that they had a, a an Android app that was uh, part of their toolkit that um, could bypass most of Google Play Store's code review process. So it's a malicious app that essentially operates as a backdoor. Um, but upon installing it, Google Play only sees that it, it is asking for like three permissions and doesn't really deem it malicious at all. But after it's installed, it passes Google Play Store and, and you run it for the first time. Um, it then provides, or then has, um, uh, it has functionality built in to download 
additional uh, pieces that uh, allow it to escalate privileges on the device and create a backdoor. Um, it actually exploits a known local privilege escalation that's actually in most of the Android versions, the browser anyways, um, and, uh, and it creates a backdoor uh, to, to a remote server. So why this is important is that um, that actual source code is out there on the internet now and uh, you know we're gonna see we're gonna see other malware authors probably using the exact same technique to bypass Google Play Store in the near future. Um, so if you want to read more about that one, I have a link here at the bottom uh, to an, a very interesting article about that piece of uh, or well about that Android app. Well, that's it for this edition of Hack Naked TV. Um, if you want to watch more Hack Naked TV, check out HackNaked.tv. Uh, check out Security Weekly at blip.tv slash Security Weekly. Uh, they have the show notes uh, for, for each episode at wiki.securityweekly.com. I'll be speaking at the HTCIA conference August 30th through September 2nd. If you want to attend that conference, uh, you can use our 15% our off discount code, uh, HackNaked. And if you want to email us, email us at the show at hacknaked.tv. And I'm on Twitter at DAFTAC. Have a great weekend. Bye.